bodies will be shattered. Worlds will burn. last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. Mm. 
We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. And we can go after Minsk. Forget Minsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Minsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, sir. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Phase two, commencing. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. About what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind. And let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good.
camp. Like riding a bike. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous. It's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now.
Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me. Do you not remember? Yes. I do remember you. More importantly, you remember me. You are the Queen of Blades. I obey. Perfect. Summon the swarm and prepare to move on Core Hall. The swarm is in disarray and will not answer your call. Most Zerg on Calder are under the command of Broodmother Nefash. She seeks to create her own swarm. While she lives, the swarm will be divided. Not for long it won't. Take us down to the surface. We captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes. And if I let you live, you'll call your golden armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end we are both killers. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. <laughs> Your friends on that ship can sense you. 
They know they left one behind. <sighs> but they can't warp you to their ship, because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. Tell me, Zagara, how would you drive the Terrans from this world? I would obliterate their fortress on the Dauntless Plateau. But the only way to reach it is through the Bone Trench. Be warned. The Terrans flooded our tunnels with lava. We will be exposed on the surface until we reach the Plateau. That doesn't concern me. Warfield has no idea what he's up against. But what of the Zelnaga artifact? Could the Terrans still possess it? They might. But I know it's not here on Char. It's no threat to us. Get the wounded to those shuttles. You're almost there. Can I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. 
just see the lose money. <laughs> I'll get out another way. too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raider could see you right now? Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. Why are you helping me, Zeratul? You have more cause to hate me than most. The Zelnaga wish you restored as the leader of the Swarm. You know I don't believe in your mad prophecies. Your belief is not required. I act for the greater good. Though it burns me the hatred of my own people. Spare me your self-pity, Zeratul. Everyone has to make peace with their own choices. I made my peace long ago. When we are done here, I will return to my people and accept their judgment. We all have to pay for our actions someday. I guess your day is almost here. I sense something. An ancient consciousness sleeping. The ancient one, a primal Zerg who witnessed the creation of the Overmind. You want me to awaken it, don't you? If you truly seek the power of Zerus, you will need the ancient one. My queen, enemy primals are massing nearby. 
They are going to attack us. They wish to stop you from speaking with the Ancient One. What will you do? What my enemies fear most. Always. You are on the path, and no longer need my guidance. You will not see me again, Kerrigan. Say the swarm is corrupted. What did the fallen Zelnaga Aemon do to us? He desired our strength, the ability to steal essence. But we were independent. We would not follow. And so he bound the Zerg to a single overriding will. The hive mind. That's Amon's corruption? It is. And a terrible fate for a strong primal Zerg. My queen, why did we wake the Ancient One? Its power outstrips even yours. The Ancient One is key to unlocking the power of Zerus. And I need that knowledge. Will it not destroy us? It's called a gamble. It's something Terrans do when their instincts tell them the time is right. I see. Just as when the Terran James Rayner came to Char to return you to your original form. Yes. Just like that. The thing about gambles, Isha is that sometimes you lose. What is a primal Zerg doing on my Leviathan? I am Dehaka, one who collects. I kill. I take essence. Now I come to you because I feel your change. Oh, Zerus feels it. All Zerus fears it, and you. But you don't fear me, do you, Dahaka? You shine 
You will bring more essence, and I will follow. When you do not, I will not. Well, my forged alliance is on shakier ground than that. Very well, you can stay. Betray me and I'll collect your essence. Yes. I can rip worlds apart. And I, the equal of Aemon, who once controlled you. He never controlled me. I felt an influence. A trace of something dark but long gone. Aemon must have died before I was infested. I hope it is so. For he truly could rip worlds apart. Genetic strands different. Restructured from base level up. Stronger than Queen of Blades. Sequences complex but clean. Completely different at core. Yes, I am different. I am my own master. When the Zelnaga artifact made me human again, it cleansed me of Amon's influence. And that allowed me to become something greater. Must take sample. Study new sequences. Don't even try, Abathur. What I am now is beyond your comprehension. Difficult to admit. New structure beyond understanding. We'll return to work. The Terrans launched thousands of these devices at our broods on Char. Broodmother Kalisa relayed this to us. It is not a weapon. It's a two-way communicator. The Queen of Blades. I knew you'd return to your true form. A monster. Now, you'll do exactly as I tell you if you care at all about Jim Raynor. <laughs> yes. He's alive. So you'll keep your swarm away from Paul and away from me, or he dies. That man sacrificed everything to give you back your humanity, and you threw it away. <laughs> oh, he must be disgusted by you. Why? He'd be first in line to kill you. I can't sense Jim out there. If he is alive, nothing in this universe will stop me from finding him. up some kind of reading. Warning. Psionic waveform detected. Scale. Unclassifiable. Kerrigan. What happened to you? There's no time. Listen carefully. Jim is alive and I can't find him. But you can. 
hack the Dominion network and figure out where they're holding him. How can we trust her? Valeria, if there's even a chance that Jim is alive, I'm going after him. Hacking the Dominion security network will prove difficult. Only one man can hack that network. Colonel Orla. And he's being held prisoner by... Mira Han. The mercenary leader. Isn't she a friend of yours? Not exactly. It's complicated. Let's just get this done. Find him, Matt. We both owe it to him. Mira Han, this is Prince Valerian. Do you read me? Of course I do, Princess. I know you're working with Matthew. Put him on, please. You forget yourself, mercenary. Hello, Mira. Matthew! You never write, you never call. It's almost like you don't care. I'm here to ask for your help. You've got Colonel Orlin and we need him. He's the only man who can hack the Dominion's deep encryption network. Well, I'd love to help. I just need the permission of James Raynor. Jim's not here right now. Oh, dear. Then I'm afraid I cannot give you Colonel Orland. Look, Mira. We need Orland to rescue Jim. Just hand him over. A mercenary's reputation is all that she has, darling. I will not relinquish my prisoner to anyone. But the client. Not even to someone with your devilish good looks and brooding intensity. Sorry. Stop! Stop! You win, Matthew! You've destroyed my base. I've captured my heart. All over again. She is very strange. Please. Can we just take Colonel Orlin and go? Right now. I'm sending that disreputable fellow to you in a shuttle. You people are all crazy. Why would I help you? We could send you back to Mira, huh? Tell me what you need. I must rebuild Mira's morale thanks to you, Matthew. But I will see you again. Not too soon, I hope. And I thought Dominion politics were vicious. Have you found anything? Colonel Orlin is hacking into the Dominion net right now. Tell him he's got one hour. I won't do that, Kerrigan. You're already in over your head. Don't make it worse. If the Dominion sense our intrusion, they'll move Jim or kill him. I am not going to risk failure because you are impatient. So save your threats. You've done some growing up since you mojo. Zerg are not the only ones who adapt. Very well. I will wait for your expert to do his work. Kerrigan. We found him. Where? He's being held on the Moros, a mobile prison ship that jumps every hour to a randomized set of coordinates. There's no way to predict where it will jump next. They've got to resupply sometime. Exactly. We know the ship will be at the Atlas station for 32 minutes tomorrow. Atlas will send a tanker out to the Moros. But when the fueling's done, it's gone. Our associate Tosh volunteered to infiltrate. No. You've done your part. I'll handle this myself. Be careful, Kerrigan. This place makes New Folsom look like a nursery.
had to get you out. What have you done? What would have I had to? Tell that to Phoenix. Tell it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still believe in me? is doing well. He's in the med bay, but I don't think he wants to talk to anyone. I'm here to talk to you, Valerian. You understand that I'm going to Corval soon? I do. You plan to kill my father. He's had this coming for a long time. I need to know where you stand. I stand for my people. I've accepted that my father is beyond redemption. And must be removed from power. I'm glad we understand each other. My queen. The infested Terran who contacted you waits over there. He claims to know you. Who are you? You do not recognize me? I am Alexis Tokov. We were enemies once. Well, we both seem to be Zerg now. Indeed. And we share a common goal. The destruction of this facility. It is here that Manx breeds the hybrid, combining Protoss and Zerg DNA to create monstrous creatures of immense power. That will destroy this facility together. Face me, my word. It's over. It is his only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think?
You are not dead! You are nothing! I'm everything you lost. Time to evacuate. Korhal is going to be the most difficult battle of my life, and you're asking me to make it harder. I am. I was wrong about you, Valerian. You're not like your father. I'll give you your chance. Make the most of it. Dominion. This is your emperor, Arcturus Minsk. Coral is under attack by the Zerg Swarm. Our special weapons lab has been destroyed. Our defenses stripped. Any fleet that can hear my voice, return to Coral. The seat of human power is under assault. Come in. Defend your home. Trapped like a rat in a cage, aren't you, Arcturus? Your revenge is close now. Nothing can stop it. Don't underestimate Minsk. He is by far the most cunning enemy we've ever faced. If I should fall, you must take the swarm from Core Hall. Flee? This is not the way of the Zerg. Yet it is my will. 
You will obey my command and take this swarm to seek our true enemy. Find Amon. Destroy him before he can enslave the swarm again. As you command. Kerrigan, look at what you have brought. Thousands dead, all for your revenge. Their blood is on your hands, Arcturus. You made every part of this happen. I have done great and terrible things, it is true. And I would again, and protect humanity from monsters like you. You use words like weapons, Arcturus, but words cannot save you now. Oh, oh, I have other weapons. I just want to say goodbye, Kerrigan. Our outlying roads are being eradicated. The Terrans are the one aside this door. It corrupts our own hive mind, ripping us apart from the inside. The field will quickly kill any Zerg who enters it. Understood. Listen to me, all of you. The Dominion will launch an assault in a moment. A diversion to keep us from dealing with the Psy Destroyer. Yes, and we're going to let them think we're devoted. Zagar, you had this swarm. Hold the metal. Stukov, take a force and screen her flanks. And the Haka. This is your moment. The device uses this psi connection you share, but I do not have a psi connection. I will not need it. Exactly. Gather your pack. In one hour, either Arcturus Mix will be dead, or I will. If I'm still alive, I will set out to find Amon. The Fallen Zumaga are being of unknowable power. There's no way we can win. Then why fight? Because the only other option is to lie down and die. Well, I never wanted to die lying down. So, fight a god to the bitter end? That sounds like a worthy death. I am with you. Whatever comes, I am ready, my queen. Even if we fall and die in this battle, we've already done the impossible. We've shattered the power of Minsk. It will be up to the Terrans to make something of the opportunity. That means nothing to the future of the Swarm. True. But there are still brood mothers in orbit with their leviathans. The swarm will continue, no matter what. And it will be changed. Forever. The northeast sector is clear. We're behind in the eastern corridor. It's time, Galarian! The evacuation is still underway. I can't afford to hold back any longer. Promise me you'll avoid civilian centers. I can't do that. Arcturus would see that pattern in my movements and use it against me. Then millions will die. All right. Just stay out of my way, and I'll do what I can.
I'm surprised you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. <laughs> Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, Change of plans. You can never suffer enough for all the lies you've ruined, Arcturus. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. 